Hey guys, so I am super excited because I have wanted to do this video for about a month now. So basically over quarantine, I was like, man, I can't get my nails done. And then eventually, um, you know, it just kind of spiraled into, okay, well, how can I do it at home? So now that I know how to do it and I know like all the tricks and like all the tools, I personally like am not gonna go get my nails done at a salon unless um, like it's for like a special event or something because I figured it all out. I feel really good about it. Um, I know the brands that are good, the brands that aren't good. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to make this a video and tell you guys basically what the good brands are, which ones to avoid, and basically just like show you guys how I actually do my nails. As far as my little gel light, um, I got it from Madame Glam. And, and this light is, you can use my code, which is Megan30, um, and get 30% off or just join like VIP and get um, a bunch of stuff that's like half off the whole site basically. But the light is amazing. It's little and it's like portable. Um, I'll probably upgrade to like one that I can actually keep here um, that's like a little bit bigger because right now this one, um, I can only do like these four fingers at a time and then I have to do my thumb separately. If you're looking for a light, check them out. Um, also their top and their base coats. Um, they are unparalleled as well as their color formulas. All of them are very chip resistant. Um, they last a really long time. And also they have this like gel polish remover, like dissolver stuff that you put on top. So instead of like, you know, like when you get your nails done, how you like file it down and like have to soak them in like little cotton balls with the foil and the acetone. Um, it's just like a really thick coating that you just put over your gels and it just kind of like dissolves off and it works really well. Um, as far as colors to avoid, um, I tried the gel linen colors on Amazon. It's like six colors for like 20 bucks, $17. Um, and y'all, they chipped so fast. I, I'm like appalled at how fast they chipped. So definitely not worth the investment. So OPI and Madam Glam are my two favorite uh, gel companies. You can also buy OPI top coat and base coat. Uh, I'm sure they're just as good as Madam Glam, but yeah, those two brands are. So yeah, I'm just gonna like walk you guys through um, how I'm doing my gels. And uh, yeah, let me know below if there are any Amazon brands I should try because they actually are really good. Um, and yeah. Okay, so you're gonna start by filing your nails down. Um, I personally like my nails really short. So they're already cut down where I want them. And I'm focusing on getting the top and the sides really even so they look professional. It's actually really not that hard to do. It just takes a little bit of time. Problematic into myself, attention addict. Don't just like trouble, but I'm good at it. Good at it. I won't pretend I don't deserve it. So this stuff is amazing, whether you're doing gels or just painting your nails regularly. Uh, you're just gonna put it all along your cuticles. Um, I use, I tend to use a lot uh, just because I'm really trying to dissolve them all. Um, so yeah, you're gonna put it on all your fingers. I do one hand at a time when I'm doing my gels just because uh, it's easier for me that way when it comes to application and everything. So you're gonna let that sit. The bottle says um, a minute, but I personally like to leave it on for a little bit longer. I think it works better. I tend to do like three to four. So now what I'm doing is I actually took <laughs> the um the little tool on my nail clippers and i'm using that to push my cuticles down like i know that's not the professional way to do it there are tools to do it but i personally think this works just fine and this is just i'm not a nail professional i think it's great so i'm just using that to push my cuticles down so after you've washed off um the Sally Hansen cuticle dissolver off your nails. You're gonna use this Bond-Aid on it. Now, if you really want it to stick, use some rubbing alcohol on your actual nails before you put the Bond-Aid on. Um, I realize that actually helps a lot. So this is actually what they use on you when you go get your nails done and it actually really does help the gel stick 
to your fingers better and stay longer. So next, um, it's time for the bottom base coat. I'm using Madam Glam. I personally love their products. Um, I use their top coat, their base coat. Obviously, I use their light. Um, but yeah, they also have amazing colors. Now, the key to all of your coats, now keep this in mind, is thin layers. Thin layers are your best friend. Wipe as much of the product off onto the bottle as you can and get that layer as thin as possible, avoiding your finger, avoiding your cuticles. Don't stress if you get it on there, you can always just like wipe it off with your fingers, like kind of like how they do at the salon. It's not a big deal. Uh, but yes, thin layers are your best friend. Now I always check to make sure I didn't get any on my fingers and I did, so see it's no big deal, you just wipe it off. You definitely don't want it on your finger because that's gonna make uh, the color go on your finger as well. So now everything's all clean. I've got my little Madam Glam light. This thing is amazing, okay? It's travelable, if that's even a word. <laughs> um, it cures your nails in a minute. I love this light. Would I jump back in, risk it all again, yeah. Me and my broken pieces I'm scared to pick them up Will they fit back together When all is said and done And if I'm being honest This kind of mess ain't fun My color today I'm using OPI Alpine Snow you guys know I love my white nails uh, I actually found a website that lets you buy OPI gel colors without a beauty license so I'll make sure to put that in the description box now again thin layers are your best friend and you're just gonna try and get it as even as you can along the base and along the sides but again don't freak out if you get any on your fingers because you can always wipe it off before you put it under the light and also this whole time do not freak out and think it looks awful because you can fix basically anything with your nail file and most of it actually ends up peeling off in the shower like if it got on your skin or um, around like the sides uh, it actually ends up looking amazing after you shower this kind of mess ain't fun. Okay, so now it's time for the second coat. The second coat tends to be easier than the first. Um, and again, don't freak out. See, as you can see, I have a little bit on the side of my thumb there, but at the end that will file right off. I am not worried about it. Um, just really focus on getting the bottoms as even as you can, because that's the part that's trickier to fix.
Now, since this color is uh, a little bit transparent, I'm gonna do three coats. I actually found three coats for me, it just helps my gels stay on longer, but I understand every color is different transparency and everybody prefers different amount of coats. So yes, I'm going on and I'm gonna put a third coat. As you can see, I'm really focusing because I had to take it off camera. <laughs> So this is what it looks like with a third coat. So now it's time for the top coat. And again, I love Madam Glam. This is the top coat I'm gonna be using. Uh, this is a really important coat that you do not want to get on your fingers as well. And again, very thin layers. I personally actually like to do two top coats. So I'll do this one, let it cure, and then I'll go in and do another one. I just found it makes my gels last longer. Now, as you can see, see it's looking, it looks like it's gonna be messy, but I promise you guys, when you're doing it on yourselves, don't freak out. Don't think like, oh my gosh, this looks so bad. All of this thing, all these things that are wrong right now, I can fix. I can't put my finger on exactly about this worst, but it must be something more than something. Do, do, go, do, and up here together. It feels like, like I've known you forever. Okay, so now that you have your top coats on, um, you're gonna take the rubbing alcohol. Um, you can use cotton ball, whatever. I'm just using a paper towel today. And wipe off the sticky residue, just like they do at the salon. It's like crazy how much you don't realize that you're learning how to do your own nails when you get your nails done. So now that's one hand. So I'm gonna go back with um, a newer file and um, file down the tops because I could do those like a little bit better. And then I'm also gonna be filing like the sides, basically just like evening everything out. All right, so one hand is done. So I'm gonna go in with some cuticle oil and put that all along my cuticles around the top. Um, this just helps everything look better. Like I understand why they do it. Uh, and then I'm gonna go in with some lotion and just kind of rub that into that hand. Um, and then I'll be ready for the next hand. All right, so here is both hands. They're not perfect, but they last a long time and I'm happy with them. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I hope this was helpful. Um, obviously, like I'm not a professional <laughs> nail technician. This is just, you know, what I use at home. Um, and it does the job for me. And personally right now, like I'm not super excited to go sit in a nail salon with like coronavirus and stuff. And also just like the cleanliness of it has always been like a weird thing for me. So this just makes me feel better doing it. Like my own space, my own germs, <laughs> all that. So yeah, thanks for watching guys.